Romans chapter 16. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deacon of the church in Centrea. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in a way worthy of his people and to give her any help she may need from you, for she has been the benefactor of many people, including me. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus. They risked their lives for me. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentile are grateful to them. Greet also the church that meets at their house. Greet my dear friend Apentis, who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Greet Mary, who worked very hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my fellow Jews, who have been in prison with me. They are outstanding among the apostles, and they were in Christ before I was. Greet Ampliitis, my dear friend in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our co-worker in Christ, and my dear friend Stachys. Greet Apelles, whose fidelity to Christ has stood the test. Greet those who belong to the household of Aristobulus. Greet Herodian, my fellow Jew. Greet those in the household of Narcissus, who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, those women who worked hard in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, another woman who has worked very hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, who has been a mother to me, too. Greet Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobus, Hermas, and the other brothers and sisters with them. Greet Philologus, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the Lord's people who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send greetings. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teachings you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my co-worker, sends his greetings to you, as do Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my fellow Jews. I, Tertius, who wrote on this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, whose hospitality I and the whole church here enjoy, sends you his greetings. Erastus, who is the city's director of public works, and our brother Quartus, send you their greetings. Now to him who is able to establish you in accordance with my gospel, the message I proclaim about Jesus Christ in keeping with the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all the Gentiles might come to the obedience that comes from faith. To the only wise God be glory forever. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. This concludes the book of Romans. Hello, family, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, our Lord. It's me, Sister Rachel. Just wanted to pop in to say hello to all of you and let you know how much I appreciate you all. You are all in my daily prayers and I love you all. I want to encourage you all to share the gospel every chance you get. The word says in 2 Corinthians 20, we are ambassadors to Christ. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming back soon. Be encouraged. Be really encouraged. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.